Hey guys, Styled Snail here for a decently weird video. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the interconnectivity of Dark Souls 1 through the collision data. Uh, I saw this website through, I think, Sunlight Blade. It's no clip that website with plenty of different games that you can no clip through the worlds for. And they have the Dark Souls one actual world but they are per world and it doesn't have all of it together so I'm gonna just go through some of it so you start uh, up here here's the end of the simul. and here's your boss fight room and the next boss fight with your demons and then you know you would come out here and you'd get your bird and the bird would bring you to Firelink, which is where I'm lost now, because this place is in, is not interconnected. That's just placed somewhere. Um, man, seeing it through these colors makes it kind of confusing. Here we go. All right, Firelink is this color, so everything's color coded, so you, you can you can tell it apart. I just didn't. Make a mental mind uh, thought thing of dealing with it. So here, you know, you have like all of the the details of like the map, but no textures. Everything that you can stand on, like even the ground. And you got your elevator shaft that you can go up right here. And the cool thing is about this that. It doesn't show faces that you're uh, that you're facing, you know, ones that you can't actually see or just not there. So you can actually see inside everything in this from the outside. So you know, here you'd get a uh, you know you get your um, your Sunny D upgrade. <laughs> Gotta drink that Sunny D. All right, so you know you go through down here. Go down to Sen's Fortress and down to the Dark Root Garden with the the demon right there. And yeah, I just uh, I I liked looking at this uh, through this website. I don't know, it just looked cool seeing how interconnected it really is, and this is seeing all of it at once without uh you know stuff blocking. So you have like, even like over here, let's see, so this is the DLC area, right? Yeah, so you spawn in here with the DLC and you'd go through all that, but we'll, we'll get to that later. So you know, you're you chilling, you know, in your undead asylum, or not undead asylum, uh, your, your town area down here, you know, you got your, uh, your enemies to deal with, your little hollows, you got um, the black knight that's down here. It looks like this right here isn't loaded right. Or something. Just a little bit. And then you come up here and you fight your your first like non-tutorial main boss. You can choose it if you want, you know? And then you'd come down here, come talk to Solaire and the sunlight that doesn't exist in here. Deal with your dragon, try and run through here probably. And you know, and you go up. Yeah, I just, I just really like it. But like, if we do a zoom out here, you can really see how interconnected it is by just how close everything is together. So let's see, so we have Firelink Shrine here. And this connects down to this area down in the catacombs, right? And the Tomb of Giants, uh, where? So we're here. Tomb of Giants would be... I'm looking for just that one big piece that just looks like a like blown up Lord Vessel. All right, so kind of here looks like this might be it, actually. Or is this Nito's? No, here is a uh, 
This is Pinwheel. Here's Pinwheel, and you go up here, Tomb of the Giants right here. So really, if you wanted, you could use this as a navigational map for the, the game. And you can have this on, like, another tab or something. You got here, you got, like, demon ruins down here. Even, like, some of these cracks are modeled for collision. There's some uh, missing collision right here, too. Go down, you got Lost Eyes left down here. You got your, your Demon Fire Sage. And you got your Savior Solaire right here. I don't think I have played through Dark Souls 1 at all without saving Solaire. I will Google a guide to make sure. Because I, I, I don't let that boy die. Ever. Alright, so we get up here. Let's see, so over here we, we would go to Sense Fortress. You, know, you come through, you deal with your axes, and you can see all the stuff down here where you have all those other demons. And you got, you know, the place where you have all your snake guys. And even like like these statues are even modeled in this collision. So I I really think this would be awesome to like uh, just have as a map. It's just like a 3D map, really. And uh, I think at some point I, I might actually use it as a map. Just seeing how good it actually is. And you got Anne Orlando down here. It even looks good in one color. Connected right over there. And, yeah. Right above Sense Fortress, apparently, is in Orlando. Which it basically is, because here's your, your uh, Iron Golem fight with dealing with the giant up here. And you can go upside down, so be careful when, if you're on here. Um, so you just get brought right up here and plopped right down. And you bloop, bloop, bloop. A little further down here. But yeah, you've got all those stairs. There's so much detail. It really just looks like everything but textures, basically. Which I wouldn't expect just from collision data. Like, there, there's some fine details in some of this stuff. Like, there's collision on... Like, all this up here. Like, why is there collision up here? You're never allowed up here. Like, there's none over here because they're back faces, so they got to save, you know, all that rendering time and all that. And then you got your, you're on your way with those, like, uh, or you're actually leaving now. This is going up to Seath's place, actually. So, like, you got all this. Like, look how detailed it is just in collision. Like, I just, I think it's so cool. It's just someone, or multiple people in that team of FromSoft just spent time making all of this. And I just, I, I love how detailed it is. No back faces of stairs, because why would you need them? You got to save what you can, but, like, it's still detailed. You got, like, all these. You got even this place out here. You would go down here, and like all the crystals down here. I I just think it looks cool. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, yeah, I I really like it. Yeah, um, let's get down to that DLC area now. I want to see, like, the the madness fight down there. So you know, you spawn over here and you come through. And you have your first fight with your, uh, really, basically, it's a, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, I'm blanking on a Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, I'm sorry. The, the Guardian, I, I know there's Guardian in his name. I can't think of the name of the actual boss. And you're here, and you have, like, your Elizabeth Merchant little mushroom. Your bonfire. 
And you come over here, and here's all the the trees. It just yeah, like you'd be like this tall, and you're just walking through here. Like so much details in the textures too. Like no leaves are around, but like everything. Actually, we can come over here. We can see the big area for the uh, the dragon fight. Uh, I had such trouble dealing with any of the dragons in Dark Souls, really. Any, like, monster type, like, huge thing. Like, Bloodborne is pretty easy. For me, anyway. But, not in Dark Souls. But, alright, let's get over to this Manus fight. But before they do that, look at this, you got this, this hole over here. This is the, uh, the, the worst fight in the game, I'll just say. And you can see just where the stuff would break right here. Really, you could use this as a map for this, this fight, too. Chaos bug, basically. <laughs> Alright, let's look at this Manus fight chamber. Yeah, you would jump over here, and you, might, you drop down, and it's right here, right? Or is this four kings? Is this four kings? No. No. Look at his manus. Yeah. But speaking of four kings, let me go find that. We. All right. So let's get back to Firelink, and then we go down. And it's here. And we come around here, and then in. And there we go. We. Oh. It's not there. But it is. So it all collides here. The whole map just like is all colliding in this spot, but like not in like interconnected. Just there's just an area. So then, where's the abyss? Do they like teleport you over to like down here or something? I doubt it, but yeah, that'd be cool. But yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what you liked about it. If you guys, I don't know, what, what, what you guys like about Dark Souls. What's your favorite thing about Dark Souls? Any of them. What's your worst, uh, f your worst thought about any of the Dark Souls too? You know, anything like that. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, the website will be in the description. And yeah, thank you. Goodbye.